Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. Skyward Sword. Two. Oh my gosh. What else is behind you? Entrance? Where are we going? Okay, so it has been a while since uh, the man has been out with me shopping too. I'm gonna do, buddy, can you pump the thing? Professional YouTuber here. <laughs> All right, so it's been a while since we both went out together, which has been, um, yeah, a bit of a pain in the bum. We haven't had time. Uh, and today's our last day of holidays, so we thought we would hit the pavement. Um, I have my lucky shoes on, and uh, we're at a cash converters. We're not going to have a lot of time to go to different stores today, um, but hopefully we can find some stuff at the stores we can get to. And I can already find a few, have found a few things already, which is really exciting. Okay, let's take a look. Um, so we've got, uh, I, I think that's just going to be a resealed Xbox controller. Um, they've got some other stuff up here and an N64 controller. This blue one is actually in really nice condition. Um, it looks like it's got 29 on it, which is um, pretty good. I actually regret not buying an Elite controller at a cash converters, I think maybe a year or two ago. Uh, boxed, brand new, it was about $90. So yeah, seeing the price of them now, I'm a little bit have the regret. Um, they also have some uh, PSP games. Um, that is, Gaia game is probably pretty good, but um, they got the Lara Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary for $17. I don't think we actually own that one. Might grab that. Uh, PS2 is 102 and 85, and the PS1 is 99. Twilight Princess in there. They've discounted a lot of stuff because they're just not going to sell it at that price. Now someone in one of my previous videos said that I don't show much love to the Wii U. I do. I just don't actively collect for it because I don't have much space. But these controllers are um, a pretty good price. So they're 20 or $19 each. I've got some remotes, nunchucks, should I say, and a Wii over the back there. Now, that is the RVL one um, for $20. I think that's actually pretty good if it comes with all the cables. And the reason being, it does play GameCube games. So, I think that is a pretty good deal. And we've got some retro. Oh yeah, how good. Uh, Mickey Mania, love it. And Turok, uh, boxed. So, it's not actually the best box, but to find an N64 game still in a cashews is probably pretty good. They've discounted it by the $15 price. Mm. I don't think I have it either. I might cop that, even though the box is a bit rough, because you're not going to find it again. I've got some Vita, God of War, uh, and also resistance that's actually i love the resistance series but the psp game is not very good um so it's 425 and some ds and stuff i hope i've covered that for everyone some move controllers uh 25 each not bad not bad not bad and the ps2 controller looks like i think it's about 25. it's pretty much an um average price now for that sort of thing instead of buying them for five dollars are actually pretty expensive these days okay so we're going to do this one a little differently uh due to copyright laws i, I cannot uh, share this music with you guys but uh, i'm going to do a bit of a voiceover on this games uh the games on the shelf so the copy of disgaea was actually pretty good on the ps3 for the price uh it was pretty high but it definitely was in good condition but this store has had a number of these games for so long. And uh, I've tried to get them down um, and obviously honor the highlighted thing um, before, but they just won't do it anymore. Um, they do have some $3 PS3 games, which isn't a bad thing uh, considering the late, uh, recent news with the PlayStation uh, 3 store going to be closing down. 
but they've just, they're overpriced, like $10 for some Buzz games uh, and stuff like that, and the PS2, just not great stuff. And Need for Speed Heat, which was recently on run out sale uh, at JB Hi-Fi, they wanted $49 for that, it's just too high. Now going through the Xbox games, a lot of Madden and FIFA and Sports Connect, Borderlands uh, and stuff like that. Nothing great. Uh, there's also some Wii games that they've had for so long. Now they've slightly discounted them, but $36 for Super Smash Bros. Brawl uh, is definitely not something they'd be after. Now they also had some other games uh, there. Now Sims Animals was uh, definitely a good one um, if you want to flip it as well, but it was absolutely hammered. Now on the other side of the shelf is where you find the movies and they had a ton of sort of older games there. They did have GameCube game but it was really expensive. Everything I have to say was just really expensive for Nintendo and uh, just not in the market for any of these games um, as you guys can tell. They're just really, really overpriced. Uh, I think there was like Kirby was 25. Uh, Super Mario Land may have been uh, pretty high as well. And I think Mario Kart was in like the $50 range for the Nintendo 3DS. James. Another little mermaid. Oh, shift. I hate pops. Oh, you can say that too loud. <laughs> That's Woody the Woodpecker, he looks really cool. I don't hate them, I like them. I just... It's fucking pointless. Yeah, there's so many... You know, other people collect them though and they enjoy them. Why am I looking at them? I don't know, because it's just nice. in case... <laughs> it's one that you want. Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! No! Okay, uh, now in a, another op shop. This one's pretty big. Uh, they've got quite a number of... DVDs and stuff uh, and the kids DVDs over here which we'll have to take a check out too but we might start here ho oh, oh. ho Skyward Sword oh my gosh what else is behind here hmm? oh my god tack Battle of the Bands Lynx crossbow oh my god I don't know. <gasps> this is a sealed game. Shh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These are all games I don't have. The road. The games have a dollar on them. Guild Wars expansion. What is that? That looks cool. I actually can't believe this. Definitely take a look at them. Um, and if they're a dollar, I'm probably just going to get all of them. For sure, I need somewhere to. Jeez. Just a little quiet and was actually a bit shocked. Now, if they are a dollar, I know Link's crossbow training's pretty terrible, but they look like they've discounted them all. So, definitely worth getting them. Spaghetti Western. It's in there too. Pirates. The Glee Karaoke Revolution. I think I may have picked this one up recently. The top of my head, I'm a bit of a fan. 
broken sword. Never heard of that one before. So cool. Uh, and then obviously another cool looking gang. Isn't there? Fun par party. Oh, it's got Wii Sports in there. This one's. Oh, that is a cool looking cover. Definitely the standout. Attack. And Twilight Princess. Unreal. And I'll let them know about the Fun Park game. So cool. I'm going to have a look at their PC stock now too. Okay, so I've had a bit of another look and found a soundtrack I've been looking for for a while. Karina Karina. And Abby's got Milo and Otis and Holes. But the lady came out and she said that they had this like awesome pack of, for the Wii. So it's all complete. Um, uh, it's actually new inside. It's so, so cool. So for 15, I'm going to get that. And I think the games do come down to a dollar each today. Or everything's sort of been discounted, which is fantastic. So what an absolute find today. Can't believe it, guys. Still out in the wild. You can find stuff. How amazing. All right, so on to the next one. The end on the left. Oh, awesome. Straight to the end. And oh, wait, OK. We're now power shopping because we are parked in a zone that we probably shouldn't be. But yeah, there's a nice vintage trunk back there. Oh, look at all the um, old suitcases they have. Oh, I'm always told no. No, no, no. Say it again for good measure. No, God! I wiped my hands. Look, they still have the VH. Oh, God, they've got heaps more. <gasps> the games. PC games. Two dollars. Last week you More said you weren't buying any more PC games. Yeah, I know, but uh, it's not. I look. It's Call of Duty. <laughs> it's not just a PC game. And it's two dollars. Is it in there? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Dollar. Oh, Ronald O'Brien. Well, there you go. FIFA came out on the 3DS. What's that? Angel League. Mm. Oh, that's exciting. Joe vs. the Volcano. You didn't have that one. Oh, All right, well, I think I'm going to get this, but I don't, I don't know if anything's in here. I'm just be buying it for the box, everybody. I think I'm going to get it. Look at this. Would you just look at this? Oh. Look at that, that's nice and shiny. Would you look at this? I am recording. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, last stop of the day everyone. It's coming up to lunchtime. It's actually after lunchtime and I'm a little bit hangry. Uh, but positivity. I'm gonna find some goodies. So uh, I've grabbed Retro and we're having a quick look. So they've got some Wii's and Wii games and stuff like that. Oh, two dollars on Wii Fit Plus and stuff, which is probably not bad. Um, but look at how many Nintendo 64 games they've got in the cabinet. Jeez. I know. Uh, so they've got Star Wars uh, Shadows of the Empire, 99. Uh, they have a really clean copy of Carmageddon, but I don't... Look at how crispy that box is. Like, that, that is very... Yeah, I know. I don't know how much that is, though. We should probably have a look. But Xena's over the back. It's a hard-to-find one. And Banjo-Kazooie's there, too. Um, and Donkey Kong. Then there's Doom 64 at 259. Bomberman 64. Majora's Mask. 
Now, I do think that the prices are a little bit high, but these games are quite rare in PAL format here in Australia, especially seeing such a large amount of them in one spot is a little crazy. Um, Super Smash Brothers, I would love to have the PAL version, but I have the Japanese one and you can still play it, and the Japanese one's great. And then, look up top, it's Mario Party, and there are other Mario Parties. Oh, yeah, yep, crazy, eh? Crazy. So yeah, 319 on Mario Party 2 that one is. Um, and tons of Switch games. But yeah, Mario yeah. Party 3 is 499. Um, box conditions torn on corners and stuff like that. I'm obviously not going to look at buying that, but I wanted to show you guys what is here. Um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing to find that there's some retro stuff out here at the moment. Um, particularly in a few different stores that we've gone to, it's yeah, it's awesome. Like today, I was able to pick up two rock, uh, which was cool. And then uh, they have a set of Pokemon cards here, but I don't know enough about Pokemon cards. I don't know if this is going to be a regret. If it was like twenty dollars, I'd take a punt and have a look through. But not knowing enough about them, it's not really worth it for me. But um. Yeah, definitely really, really cool stuff. But I'm gonna probably check this copy of Come Again only because, like, looking at that box condition uh, from this angle, it looks really, really good. Um, I'd say they're probably gonna have something in the $80, $90 mark for it, possibly. But we'll still have a look anyway. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Well, everyone, I thought that the 83 games for $83 was definitely the best find I have. Uh, come across in a number of years here in Australia, but I was probably a little wrong. Um, I cannot believe the amount of games in this recent video that uh, you've just watched that we were able to find for a dollar each, uh, five cent VHS, uh, and amongst other things. Uh, obviously, one of the cash converter stores had quite a lot of Nintendo 64 games, and okay, yes, they were really overpriced, but still good to see that there was some you know n64 out there about in the wild so um this is everything here um i have no idea what um order this is all in so i'm just going to grab some stuff possibly from this big bag and then we'll work through the smaller ones uh, i think we're gonna have to do away with the plant i do this every time uh and let's just get stuck straight into it so uh, we were really, really lucky. Um, this was the very last day of holidays um, that my partner and I had together. And we decided, okay, well, we've got the day off, let's go and have a look around. And I'm just so, so glad that we did. We ended up checking out a cash converters store uh, at first. I think some of these, uh, maybe they weren't from there. Okay, so I think maybe only at Cashies. Camera issue. Okay. Camera, camera sorted. Woo! Second angle. Okay, so um, what we ended up going to Cash Converters store and uh, they had some N64 games in the in the cabinet, but they also had um, other games out and about, but they were overpriced. I ended up I did decide to pick up um, Turok Rage Wars. I think it was under $40. It might have been $35 or they gave it to me for $34. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's one I don't have. Um, I am a bit of a fan of the Turok series, and I thought, why not? It's very hard to come by a $30 boxed N64 game here in Australia, so why not? I grabbed it. Probably not one of the best ones in the series. You guys are gonna let me know if you think it is or not. And then we ended up going to another op shop. Um, and in that store, they had some $1 games and, uh, sorry, $2 games and $1 DVDs. So maybe they were $2, I can't remember. Um, but I ended up picking up Call of Duty, uh, the PC version. The disc is in here, but it's fairly empty. Um, I just wanted it for the box, essentially. So I did pay $2 for this. Uh, so it's Modern Warfare. So it says Call of Duty 4. I love this game. Um, so that was for collecting purposes and for taking photos for Instagram only. If you are new here, uh, also I am on Instagram at retro.gamer.girl. So definitely follow me there too. 
um, and I upload content on there every day and stories so definitely keep up with me there too um, and then I ended up picking up two DVDs one is boys on the side it's actually like a chick flick I remember it from when I was a kid so I just picked it up again and Jaws 3 I don't remember it I don't remember it so I was like I gotta get that uh, so anyway that's what my brain does sometimes I just go oh I've got to get it I've got to get it for that price um, and then in the same store hidden down the bottom here it's VHS uh, Joe vs the volcano so uh, I I kind of remember this movie but I don't kind of remember this movie so um, I try and find unique VHS when I can and I ended up picking up this one so let me know if you're a fan of that movie all right bag is gone now luckily enough we ended up heading to another op shop and this is where I suppose the complete and utter shock come in for us because um, at this point I haven't come across any Wii games for this cheap or this bulk a lot for um, such a long time they're in absolutely fantastic condition as well and uh, I was was shaking. Um, I couldn't believe my eyes when I ended up coming across it and uh, sorting through them all. Uh, there was also something really unique that I love. I love the movie Driven, um, and I have had my eye on this for e on eBay for a while to get the soundtrack. So uh, I was I couldn't believe that was there. That was actually just like a huge shock. But there were. DVD there as well that I picked up but these are the Wii games and accessories that I ended up picking up from here so I'm gonna go through them one at a time and the prices of each so the games were a dollar each so there was Pirates of the Caribbean um, I don't have this one so I think that's really good it's this all complete as well they're in excellent condition there was the Sean White um, the snowboarding again all in excellent condition oh, it's so good Battle of the Bands, I probably didn't need to pick this up, but again, being complete and for a dollar, I just pretty much grabbed everything on the shelf and just took it. There was uh, the tack game. Now, there's quite a few different tack games. Um, there's ones on the DS, I think, as well. So I ended up picking up that. It's cool. Uh, this one looks awesome. Um, Zach and Wiki, the quest for um, Barbaros Treasure. This looks awesome so uh, super super cute complete um, another good one to add to the collection the Glee karaoke now um, I still can't believe this um, there was two Zelda games actually there might have been three including Link's crossbow training which we won't talk about because it's obviously pretty terrible but this one is a special edition with the CD in there so um, again, everyone, um, I'm shaking a little bit even talking about it again because it was just such an unreal experience to walk in and find these um, in an op shop and uh, particularly this one. Um, yeah, just really, really cool. So um, very, very good for the collection. I, you know I love Zelda stuff. Um, there was Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. I haven't played this before, I haven't heard of it, but it looks like... Um, Sort of like a murder murder mystery um, adventure game and then there was this one which is cursed mountain this is new and sealed uh, so this is a seal that's from a store I believe called JB hi-fi here in Australia it looks like one of their seals but either way pretty cool new um, definitely one to keep uh, the mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I love Brendan Fraser. I'm looking forward to playing this one. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Mummy series. It was a copy of We Play. Definitely the one that I was most excited for in this pack that we ended up, well, this lot that we ended up grabbing. <laughs> the camera died again. Ah! Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm hoping that the white balance didn't jump out, uh, didn't stuff up from that because it has before, so I'm very sorry. Okay, um, so starting again. The game that I was most excited about picking up was obviously this copy of um, Nights, which is Nights into Dreams, but this is Journey of Dreams. Uh, do not have this game. I am very excited about picking this up. Uh, it's going to go pretty much to the top of the list of uh, the games I'd like to play at the moment. So let me know if you've played this game. Is it any good? Uh, it definitely looks amazing to me and I can't wait to play it. So 
It's not overly an expensive game, um, probably like a $25 game here in Australia. Can't believe it's been so long since I probably knew about it or just didn't pick it up. But to get it for a dollar is just incredible for me. Um, so definitely very happy about that. And then we're getting to the last lot of uh, ones that we picked up for a dollar. So there was Twilight Princess on the Wii. Uh, again, fantastic game to pick up for a dollar in excellent condition. Um, Spaghetti Western Shooter. Um, I love my arcade sort of fun shooter games and stuff like that. So it's one that I don't own. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun playing that on the Wii. I definitely love the Wii modes for that. And Lynx Crossbow Training doesn't need to be talked about because, you know, it is what it is. There they also had a boxed, brand new Wii Wheel. Um, I did buy a lot of the Wii accessories when the Wii first came out here in Australia. The controllers and such and kept a few of them in their boxes and whatever else. But I didn't end up getting a wheel. Uh, so I think this was about $8 for that. So I was pretty happy. Um, and then lastly, there was this large box um, of Remington Super Slam um, Hunting North America. Uh, so this is complete in box. The game I think inside is still brand new and uh, the gun doesn't look like it's been used either. So my mum kindly opened this up for me and had a look inside and took some of the stickers and stuff like that off for me. Um, but this was $15 and I think this is probably worth probably 60 to 70. Uh, but I love it. I think it's so cool um, and I'm definitely going to be keeping this. So all in all, this was probably one of the best finds uh, so far at an op shop in 2021. So uh, besides the 83 games um, for 80, 83 games for $83, but definitely um, a very good pickup. There's some fantastic games in this stack and ones that I've obviously uh, wanted for a while and having extra copies of Zelda games, especially the Skyward with the uh, CD, the soundtrack in there was such a good find too. So that was how we kicked off the video. And I think we picked up some good stuff. Uh, and then when we uh, ended up going to, I think the last store, I think this would have been the last store. Um, I don't actually remember everything that's in this pile in all fairness because um, the hubby would have just been like grabbing lots of different things and chucking it in so we'll finish with this bag but um, I'm pretty sure this is mainly stuff that he picked up. I had my eyes intently on those N64 games. I wish I had have asked if they would have done a bit of a discount on them but uh, you know when you're talking about you know anywhere between 250 and 450 for a game I just can't bring myself to do it these days. Um, so I like to get that dollar bargain as you guys can see. So he picked up some um, unique stuff. So Grind, um, it's a movie that I think has actually got a bit of value to it. There's the Aqua CD. So Aqua was a band from the 90s. I'm sure everybody has heard of them before, but I have this CD. I didn't have the two disc version though. So he ended up just putting that aside for me because I think, I think this was 20 cents. Uh, the DVDs were a dollar. A movie called Biker Boys. Um, I can't remember if this is the one. No, it's not. It does have Kid Rock in it though and Lawrence Fishburne. So that was one that we had to obviously get. Saturday Night Live, Adam Sandler. I already have this one. I'm just going to double check the quality of it, but I'll be gifting that to a friend who likes Adam Sandler as well. Um, Ever After on Blu-ray. Now, um, this is obviously an Australian movie. Um, it's called, it's The King of Mykonos. It's uh, obviously the sequel to a movie called The Wog Boy. Um, and it's a comedy movie here in Oz. There was a three pack of Wesley Snipes movies, which is pretty cool. So I think it would have been a dollar. Another movie that's uh, a Disney one from my childhood, but it's I'll Be, Coming, I'll Be Home for Christmas, a Jonathan Taylor Thomas movie. Again, this is something that you don't normally stumble across uh, in any of the stores, so I try and pick them up when I do. Uh, all of those old Disney movies, I love picking them up. They uh, also had, I have no idea what else is in here, no idea. Okay. Oh yes, uh, Rockadoodle. Uh, I don't remember this, but I always um, seem to pick it up. But the other ones that I've picked up have been region locked. This one is actually an Australian version of it, so I'm um, very happy about that. 
There's a Deep Purple DVD, which he's picked up. A copy of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so awesome. Uh, this one I picked up because it sounds really, really cool. Um, it's uh, Cherise, Cherise Theron, Courtney Love, Stuart Townsend, and Kevin Bacon. Now, um, Stuart Townsend uh, is someone that I really uh, like his movies. Uh, he's in a movie called Queen of the Damned, which I talk about all the time, which a lot of people love or don't love. Uh, Double Jeopardy, another good one. Money Talks, another good one. A double pack you've ne we've never seen before, which is Basketball and Happy Gilmore together. So funny. Um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Uh, this was no longer on Netflix Australia anymore, so it's definitely a pickup. A movie called Tin Cup. You've seen me pick this one up before. And a foreign... A I don't even know what this one is actually. Um, no idea if you guys know what this is, definitely let me know. Uh, I just ended up picking it up because it sounds pretty unique and it's got David Arquette in it. So I was like, why not? In that store as well, they had copies of the PS4 PlayStation Worlds. These were like 50 cents each um, in a bin. So why not grab them? Now they did have other games that I was looking at. I think you would have seen in the film that I had a hold of um, a Command and Conquer game. I decided not to get it. It was in really poor condition and we already have it at home. So I was like, there's no point getting another copy of it when it was in such poor condition. But to end this video, we ended up picking up some VHS. Now the stickers have been removed from these thanks to my mum helping me out, but these were five cents each. Five cents each, no lie. Uh, they were trying to get rid of them. There's no mold, they're in great condition and they were ones that we definitely wanted to add to the collection. So uh, Bushwhack was one. Patriot Games, another. Air Force One. There was actually uh, two Thunderbirds ones. So Thunderbirds Volume 1 and Thunderbirds Volume 4. They didn't have any other ones, unfortunately, but that's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, and four. Sorry, I'm blind. They were all there. Whoops. And lastly, end of days. So uh, I definitely am a huge Schwarzenegger fan. I grew up watching his movies. I like this one. I like sort of like the end of days style movies. But this is everything that we picked up. I think my hubby and I did really well for only going to a few stores. Um, we had a very low budget that day. We try to only ever spend about $50 um, every fortnight or you know $100 a month if we go out. So a first time we obviously spent $83 and this time, I can't remember what the math was, but I think it was um, definitely again, or except for the N64 game which kind of like pushed it over. but. Um, it was just definitely just over the $100 mark. So I think we did really, really well. Um, so you guys let me know in the comment section what you think was the best pickups from this live game hunt video. Uh, we do appreciate the support and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do have another game hunt video coming in the future and uh, with my grandma, which is going to be edited, uh, some review videos, and I will be getting into the swing of uh, getting the room tour up for you guys. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.